All right, so here's a really quick video just to show you uh, something that's not highly talked about at this moment, but the BirdieCam gimbal, it's a little bit more expensive, but you know what, it does come with a Bluetooth module. That's something they didn't really push or advertise uh, very much because in order to access the Bluetooth, you needed an Android device and software. Now the software wasn't updated at the time, um, so they didn't wanna push the Bluetooth too much because it just didn't work. So right now I do have the uh, unit on. Basically what you do is you download the uh, Basecam software um, through the Play Store. And this is kind of the first menu that you see. So what you do is you hit the menu and you connect. Now I've already done this before so it knows what to look for. Um, but you connect to your device, then you launch the software, hit, uh, turn on the connect here. Now what you'll see in the basic tab is your basic PID settings. You'll see some of your motor settings. You get down to the bottom, you can even calibrate your camera IMU. Uh, if you click that, you can see the frame IMU if you're using 32-bit. And um, down here, you have to calibrate your sensors or your gyro. Um, so, you know, we can do that right now. Let me hit calibrate my uh, sensors. You'll see it goes limp for a sec. I want to hold this till it's kind of even. And then there you go. If I want to calibrate gyro, I hit calibrate gyro. Again, it goes limp for a second. Hold it steady. There you go. Don't worry about um, it be not being level right now. I'll fix that later. Uh, but anyways, inside here, you have all of the same tabs. You have your RC settings, your service mode, your follow mode. This is exactly what you'll see in the software on your computer. Now, one of the different things that you'll find though is there's a control um, tab here now. The control tab allows you to switch to different profiles. So if I hit profile two, you'll notice it switches profile two, profile one. Now there's also this little, uh, diagram here. There's a power button up here on the top. Um, so that's turning off the basically wireless joystick. So check this out. I'm going to turn this back on. And now I can actually do my tilts remotely through my phone. I can also do yaw so I can pan left and right. And you'll notice that my camera is probably not perfectly level right now. I can also do roll. So let me adjust the roll here by using the slider. And then, well, it's not perfect. Uh, this kind of acts like it's spring-loaded. So if you hold it to one side, it'll continue to roll. Let it go. It springs back into the center here. So let me go back this way and spring it back. I'm not worried about it being too level, but if you're concerned about where your sensors are at, there's also a tab up here, a button up here, and then you can see the direction of your uh, sensors, whether your pitch or your roll is off. So as an example, let me show you that. Let me just adjust my roll. Notice my roll is totally off. Let me adjust my tilt. My tilt is off. Look at my sensors. You'll notice that all of that is totally off here. So let me put that back. Let me adjust my roll. Sorry, I'm just kind of trying to do this on the opposite side of the TV here, so it's hard to see but uh, hopefully a lot more people take advantage of it. I know I will because out on the field when you wanna kinda change some of your PID settings, um, it sucks to bring a USB cable on the laptop. Now you can do it all from an Android device. Very cool. Anyways, more information about this stuff, check it out at cheesycam.com. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below.